Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we're taking our first gaming look at the LG V60 ThinQ 5G. Now, the V60 comes in with a patio devices, but it brings something a little different. Now, of course, we know this is a gaming video and we're doing do some gaming and we'll be looking at Call of Duty Mobile mostly and PUBG. I had a short time with this device. I went to see how well it handled. Now, what makes the V60 different from all the devices is what it packs in together. Now, standard uh, parts of the course is the Snapdragon E65 processor does come with only eight gigabytes of RAM for all models. Two different colors, there's a white and there's a blue color, really nice color schemes over there. Uh, and the display is a 6.8 inch Full HD Plus display. Now, LG has packed in some of the things they do really well into this device. They said, look, RAM's not gonna be an issue, your gameplays will be smooth and fast. You're gonna also have some really good audio. The quad DAC is still there and there is a headphone jack, so which means you can listen to your games with the best quality headphones possible. In this case, I'm using the AI 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 headphones, which I've been checking out for a bit and trust me, it definitely helps. Now, they're not slacking on the speaker side as well. They're going to give you some really loud audio. So you're going to hear some while I'm gaming, some not much just because there's a lot of noise in there, but uh, that's what LG is pointing out. Now, the other big thing of course, is that this device follows the trend of the LG G8, the G8X, and the V50 from last year, having the dual screen case. Now the case this year is a little bit different. It matches the resolution that you have on your display of your phone to the case as well. So you're having, you have the same display back and forth. The other thing cool about the case is, as you guys know quite well, is that you can use it as a game controller. So you can map out controls for any game you want to, uh, to go there. Now, I did ask for bumper buttons on the, or trigger buttons on the case last year. There are no trigger buttons, but LG has talked about having different types of cases down the line. So we'll see if that actually comes through. But there are a couple of things you can do with this. You can also play both games at the same time. So you can have two games playing at once and we'll check some of that out. But let's go ahead and check out some gaming on the LG V60 Thank you, 5G.
LG V60 Thin Q5G looks to be really solid. I, gameplay handled well. I ran a bit warm, but again, I didn't actually measure temperatures with this at the event. So it's cool that you can switch between uh, two different games at the same time because you have both screens available. Uh, and audio comes from either top or the bottom for whichever game you're playing at that time. Now, the other cool thing, as I mentioned earlier, it's got a headphone jack, which is really, really nice. And I have to say also, the display is quite vibrant for a Full HD Plus display on the V50 Thin Q5G. Uh, the other thing to note is the camera. I had a short time with the camera, and I have to say, I was quite impressed with what I saw. The camera tracking while you're in the viewfinder on the screen is really, really responsive. And the images also looked pretty good. Uh, we'll, of course, have some time to test the camera once we get it in-house and we do our full, of course, camera comparisons and a full gaming review for you guys right here. But for right now, I think the V60 ThinQ is solid. And in terms of pricing, uh, they haven't given us official pricing that will come through carriers, uh, but expect to see of pricing vary a bit and also should be sub a thousand dollars. Now, I'll just say, put this in a little caveat here. I'm hearing rumors that the T-Mobile version or anything with sub six only will probably be cheaper than anything with millimeter wave. So there you have it guys. If you have any questions or any comments about the LG V60 Think Q5G, if you're thinking of picking it up, or you want to see somewhat more content about this device, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.